With the HLOOKUP function in Excel, you can put in a value and then look in the top row of the table for that value and it will return the result from a specific row number where that value is either an exact match or an approximate match. So we're going to see how you can find the sales total for a selected region or find the bank rate that was in effect on a selected date. So in this first example, we've got region names across the top row. They're not sorted. They're just in the order that we like our report. Below that is the sales total for each region. And we would like to find the sales total for the north region. So in here, I will type equals H lookup and an open bracket and then we want the value that we want to look for, and that's the value in cell B7, where I typed north. And I'll put a comma, and the next thing we have to enter is the table array. So this is the lookup table, and a comma. The next thing is the row that we want the value returned from. So the first row is our headings, so row 2 is where our value is that we want. So I'll put a 2, then a comma. And the next thing is, do we want an approximate match or an exact match? And I want the exact match. I want it to find that region name exactly and show the sales. So the exact match is what I want. Close the bracket, and there's the sales total for the north region. Now if I put in a region name that isn't in there, I'll get NA as the result. For the second example, we change our bank rate every quarter. So I've got the starting date of each quarter as my headings across the top, and the rate at that starting date in the row below. So I don't want to have to type every date of the year. I want to to be able to put in a date and it'll find the bank rate for a particular range. So here if I put in March 15th, that was on or after January 1st, but the new rate doesn't take effect till April 1st, so it should come back with the January rate. So I'll put in equals H lookup, open bracket, and the lookup value is the date that we've typed here, and a comma. The table array is this range with the dates and the rates, comma. The row that we want the result from is row 2 in this table, and a comma. And in this case, we want an approximate match. We don't have all the dates, so we aren't going to find an exact match in most cases. So we'll double click on true and close the bracket, and there for March 15th it found the 0.25 rate. If I put in August, so 8, 1, August isn't in there, but the July rate is still in effect.